Within the genetics flagship, trends that are important include a focus on sustainable productivity and resilience. In other words, the need to match genetics to farming systems. The use of genomics and information systems is important in the field as a whole, but are the means by which one can achieve the goals for sustainable productivity and resilience. They provide the means to characterize breeds and the performance in different environments, to include complex trays and breeding programs, and to measure on-farm performance of specific genotypes. Reproductive technologies are important to allow the effective delivery of improved genetics. Other drivers and issues include an increased participation and an increased desire for participation by the private sector, a focus on product quality and traceability. Another important issue is the timescales needed to achieve genetic gain and the investment capability required to maintain genetic improvement programs. These can provide attention with the need to provide short-term benefit to value chains. Changes influenced by the flagship include the um, importance of looking at a range of issues uh, for uh, effective genetic resource use, input from a far broader range of value chain participants and smarter survey tools to achieve this. The delivery of development outcomes focuses on the need for effective partnerships and business models for effective dissemination. In other words, to go beyond research outputs so that improved genetics does result in improved production in the production system. Tracking of indicators should sharpen our focus on delivery and other inputs needed to achieve that benefit. Other drivers include the need for evidence-based investment in breeding programs, and therefore emphasizes the need for uh, measuring performance within systems to detect any yield gaps and to respond to these and so improve production and efficiency within them. In terms of performance, the research outputs to date have included a range of papers, reports, and theses. But particularly, it's important to note that genomic tools are being used to uh, achieve a range of, of goals, such as using SNP chips to identify best cattle breeds for use in East Africa using others now in small ruminants in Ethiopia to identify genes important for performance in arid zones. And SNP chips are now being developed for fish in Egypt and Bangladesh. Platforms for genetics and gene editing are available and productive tripanotolonate cows have been developed. ICT tools and information systems have focused on cell-based data collection and stock performance, including feedback to farmers. This is important because not only do we gain information on the performance of uh, stock to allow us to improve breeding, but it means that the farmers are getting information that's important for them and in encourages their continued involvement in the program. Delivery mechanisms have been improved through cloning and vitrification of embryos in cattle and developing cold chain free artificial insemination for cattle and small ruminants and improved information uh, on, on semen. Improved breeds and strains have been developed across a range of the species in which we work. With respect to research and development outcomes, the inclusion of milk as a trained selection program has been important for women. Sharing of rams and bucks within community-based breeding programs for small ruminants has led to better genetic management and higher production. Two improved strains of tilapia have been provided to more than 1,200 farmers in Egypt and more than 25,000 farmers in Bangladesh. With respect to development outcomes, it's too early yet to determine most indicators. However, preliminary results suggest that there's been a recognition by farmers of the higher value of selected rams in the community breeding programs. So much so that um, uh, other farmers have initiated breeding groups outside the LNF program. There has been 20% greater growth performance of improved tilapia in Egypt on farm and improved income for farmers. It's important to note here 
that in the two instances where there's been the use of improved strains within the, these communities, that that has been the result of uh, investment in these programs for some time before the LNF uh, CRP was developed. Within the genetics theme, we're starting work on a number of species, uh, but it will only be with those for which there's been work and investment carried out prior to the LNF program that we will be able necessarily to have a uh, major impact within a relatively short time period. Thank you for your attention.